Who actually invented the computer mouse? Most people would say Douglas Engelbart in 1964, but the real answer is more complicated. In 1966, while Engelbart was perfecting his wooden mouse with metal wheels, a German engineer named Rainer Mallebrein was solving the exact same problem 9,000 kilometers away, and he had never heard of Engelbart. Mallebrein worked at Telefunken in Konstanz, developing air traffic control systems. His team needed a way for controllers to select aircrafts on a radar screen, but existing trackballs were massive fixed installation. During a discussion with a university customer, Mallebrein had a simple idea. Flip the composite upside down. Instead of spinning a large stationary ball, why not let a small ball roll across your desk? By 1968, Telefunken was selling what they called the Roll Kugelstauer, rolling ball controller, with their mainframe computers. It features a 40 mm ball and used the same basic design that would dominate mice for three decades. The device was published in October 68, two months before Engelbart's famous demonstration. Telefunken considered it so unimportant they didn't even patent it. Only 46 systems were sold. Meanwhile, Engelbart's design became world famous, even though the German version was actually closer to what we all use now. So who invented the mouse? Both of them did, independently, proving the great ideas often emerge simultaneously.